Hi everyone, we are back with another war video today, and this is going to be war number nine. We are going to be going up against the alliance next. I have Bishop Professor X, White Magneto, and then I have um, Bishop Professor X and White Magneto. We're going to be going up path one. We're then going to be going up path six. And then we have a handful of minis we are also covering today. First fight, we're going to be using Professor X here. Um, just a, really a ramp fight for Professor X. We have to take a mini boss, and I wanted to get him at least two fights. Originally, I was going to bring him for a bunch of fights, four fights, five fights total, but I decided to bring Bishop along for um, another mini later on. For the first fight, we're going to PS1. We are going to build our Cerebral Charges by heaving, and then we're going to throw Special 3 Spam. So, things are going fine here. We're not too worried about his regens. Uh, we don't want him to kill a ton while we're in this phase, but also no need to worry about too much. Here, we're going to use our Falter to build a bunch of Cerebral Charges, so now we're up close to 100. So we really just need to get to our Special 3. Here, I decided to be greedy and try and channel into my special three. Of course, Hulk decides he needs to throw that special one instantly. And so I eat a special one to the face, eat a two-hit combo, um, and I'm going to have to wait some potions. Um, but now we're in our special three spam, so this fight's over. Just a somewhat dumb air by me being greedy and trying to get some extra damage in. For really no reason. Uh, as you're going to see from the special 3 spam, it takes a lot anyway. <laughs> um, so it didn't save me any extra time at all. Uh, so we're going to take, this is special 3 number 3. And then with one more, we are going to take Hulk down. And with the power back boost for the mutants, you do want to delay your special 3s. Uh, just a second to make sure the power back boost do trigger correctly. I've had wars where one war, one fight where I did not delay right up, delay at the beginning, and I just tried jamming the button, and he threw a special two instead of a special three. Um, but that's gonna do it for that fight, and we are gonna make our way to our next one, which will be a crossbones here. Same plan as before with Professor X. We are gonna throw a white magneto on. Just to make this fight a little bit easier. You can do it without it. Uh, I've taken this fight before without a White Magneto with a different champ. Or maybe it was Professor X actually. Uh, you basically just have to hit into their block to build prowess. And then they are unable to shrug the debuffs. So then you can special 3 spam anyway. Um, but the White Magneto just allows me to do our Cerebro charges longer. And with Crossbones, once he has 3 Furies, he can fail your parries. Now, one thing I did try and practice duel, because I wasn't sure how it interacted, was if his Furies could fail Professor X's Falter. And you're going to see, I did duel it, and I thought I'd be safe, and I'm not. Uh, so, I dueled it like three or four times, and not one time did that be, was that an issue where he hit me while I had my Falter ready to go. Now I am aware of that and nervous about it. So here I'm just going to do a full combo. I know I had a hundred Cerebro Chargers and just trigger my mind control. And we're going to go into Special 3 Spam. This is going to take significantly less Special 3s than that Hulk. Uh, I think it's just one more after this one. And he is going to go down. So Still a little bit of a mistake there. So not the cleanest start to this war. Um, and these were to be two of the easier fights, so it did make me a little nervous going forward. But now I am aware that Crossbones can fail that falter. Uh, our next fight here is going to be two fights on path six. It is going to be a Elsa first. Uh, like I said, or or originally I was planning to use Professor X for a bunch of these, but I wanted to bring Bishop along for a mini. So we are going to use him for these two because Professor X doesn't really need the extra ramp. And Bishop's going to be way faster. So here we're just building up our prowess. Trying to get to our special two. 
we're able to block her special two. Um, we don't want to just feed or her special one. We don't want to trigger a bunch of indestructibles and have to wait them out or parry a bunch. So we're just gonna do it that way. We're gonna throw this special two, and it is going to end the fight. So now we're nice and ramped for this next fight. We're gonna start with two bars of power with Bishop. Um, and we have the combat regen, so that is gonna prevent. Mantis's Tranquilize from being applied. And by then we should have Prowess, so we'll be able to have Regen if we need to as well. So here we just want to parry several times at the beginning to get our Prowess up. So we have 34, we're going to throw this. It is going to be just short of killing. Here I do want to start with at least one bar power, so I'm going to throw this special one. So we do have one bar of power going into our next fight with Bishop. We are now going to take our first mini. This is Zemo on Power Focus 2, Scared Stiff. Um, and this fight I was very nervous about. Uh, by far the one I, I was not the most confident on. We have our power backs. Why did I do that? Oh, I applied. We had a tech boost on. That's right. I didn't want the, my power backs on for the bishop fights because it can get weird if you kill with a special too. Um, so yeah, strategy here. We did apply a white magneto. Basically, when we get to our special three with our 100. Actually, we don't really need 100 cerebral charges. So I just want to get to a special three and throw it. We are going to try and get repairs in like we are there. I know that's going to hit, increase our hits on our bubble shield. Now I really just wanted to throw the special three. Or special one. He doesn't really want to play ball. Then he finally throws it. Here we're going to get rooted. We're going to use our falter though. And he doesn't play into our falter at all. So we're able to get our 100 through the charges, which is very convenient. Now I really just want to get to a special three. Here we need to clear the indestructibles. I'm going to his block a bit more. He throws a special one. We are rooted now, so we are going to take some damage in the block. I'm going to hit him a bit. We get out of it. There. I could have heavy into the special three, but we're just going to do a combo. Light ender to go into our mind control. And we have our 100 cerebral charges. We're at three bars of power. And this is going to be plenty of damage to end the fight. We are running max recoil here. Um, definitely wasn't necessary, but, you know, better safe than sorry. And because of the max recoil, this is going to just take two special threes. So, Zemo goes down. Could have been played better, but I'm overall happy with how the fight went. You know, I never was in too much danger. Just the one route because we couldn't get a special three out. Our next fight was another fight I was not worried about really at all. Um, originally, we were going to try and send Emma here, but it would have been much slower, uh, not as safe. And with Bishop, we're going to have two bars of power. I did apply a white, or one bar of power, I'm sorry. I did apply a white Magneto for this fight just to make it even safer. The shocks are going to kind of put us in overload the whole time, so you can see Jabari's melting from that. I mean, I'm going to bait out this one special. We're now going to parry several times. Drop this special two, and yeah, we get some big crits there, and that very easily ends the fight. So that was supposed to be the end of my war, but we did have some trouble on this boss. And looking back, probably should have just assigned Bishop to begin with. Um, he's just faster, which is really what you want from this fight. Um, so I, I kind of woke up in the morning, asked if I could clean this up because we were low on potions, so I kind of just boosted up real quick. I did do a couple practice duels, um, but jumped in here. At this point, it was looking pretty unlikely we are going to win this war, but I obviously I don't want to die for no reason. So here we're going to just parry twice before dropping our special two. We were so close to that special three, I didn't want to get pushed to it. Um, but now we're back at one bar of power again. It sounds like there's some lag on the sound, but it's fine. Here we push him over a bar power. Now we just want to bait out the special one from him. Which we're going to do here. Take it all in the block. We're going to parry. 
Dex in our corner. Drop this special two, and that ends the fight. So, yeah, especially after watching that, like I said, we should have went with Bishop to begin with, most likely. Um, and we do, unfortunately, end up losing this war. It was not a very close war. Um, we were ahead on fights for most of it, and we had a lot of deaths already, so I think some of their deaths might have been them taking a little easy to conserve potions, to be honest. Um, but yeah, 22 is obviously not going to cut it. Um, we go into these last three wars needing at least two wins. It would have been three, but we were lucky that the War 7 got, uh, is not going to count, which we did lose and deserve to lose to SGA, to be completely honest. Um, but it is going to help us out a bit. So instead of needing to definitely go 3-0, or two wins might get us into Masters. We def we just need two wins, and that should secure Masters if everything goes how it's supposed to. Um, so we'll see if we can finish strong and pick things up. We're definitely going to need to do better than 22 deaths, though, if we want to get Masters places. So, like I said, hopefully we get two wins at least, and we finish well and play well these last three wars. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching.